Five goals in quick time in this second term. Top of the square, Jackson tries to get involved. Bergman floats in from the side and does. And they're using, using the spare numbers. Here's a chance for Port Adelaide. Bergman. Back, Charlie. Got the lead, acknowledges it, but the kick was poor. Georgiati spills to Burn Jones. He goes to Jones. And Pickett arrives, puts the heat on. Lever. Langdon again working that outer side. Squares it up towards the corridor. And Bergman Dan. cuts it off. As we approach the two minute mark in the third, it's Melbourne by. He got his hands free to Motlaw. He thumps it. Marshall's in a one on five. And got it! Gee, that's a big win. And he had to wait for the cavalry. Burn Jones. Bergman can get space here. And he does. He leads hard, and that's why he takes so many marks a game. Flick over the head from Chera. Bit of Hollywood footy, and they're loving playing it. Saar tried to get a handball further on. Cottrell half held, no free. Amon feeds it back. Durden's got it again. Fed it on, Bonner, read his mind. Dumont. <laughs> Rosie. Possession-wise, Cottrell floats it. Kerno got there to crash it. Martin through the traffic again. Centering kick, Bergman stands in the hole. Only 13 possessions to Jack Martin, but he's looked really dangerous. His step has been good. Averted by Walsh. He mungles it away. Jonas Bergman the crumb, and he slams it long. Robbie Gray, one on one. Got oh. it. Frigish. He is a genius in that position. One on one, Drain. Back surgery as well. Getting back into it now as Brody runs into trouble. I was able to hear the voice of Sarong. Whites. Just keeping an eye on uh, Andy Brayshaw, had a, a, a big first term with uh, nine disposals. It looks as though Drew, throughout that first quarter, is going to him. You can see there five trying to block for him, so Port Adelaide trying to shut down one of the prime movies of the competition. Darcy used his strength again to initiate the clearance, but the clearing kick. But here's an opportunity for Port. Walker, he's skewed, Brody. Pierce gave it up, Bergman. Quickly on the boot, it's tracking well. It bounces right on the line and goes through. Bergman through that traffic. Butters waiting, waited until he was slung around in the right direction to kick it. And there is Mark McVeigh. James Hurd, Dean Solomon, Mark McVeigh. Three Essendon stars in the box together trying to work their magic tonight. Because Alir will come forward, whoever the extra is, they've tried to equal the number now, and he'll pick it off. That's okay. Haynes, Dern. Yep, they've gone over to him now. Dixon ripped out of the air, gave it to Bergman, who gets a bit of hook on that, and bounced it home! To respond here, they've managed to ensure that the Ds haven't been able to string together multiple goals in a hurry. They kick two back-to-back, -back, but nothing more than that right now. Bergman... Boak, Drew, Rosie from 48 metres, floats it towards the square. Once again, the Ds have got defensive representation. It's Brayshaw. Spargo call, plays the mark. He'll kick towards the pocket. Georgiades again tries to work May underneath it. Can he link up with Marshall? Flips it back. Bergman steps May, goes with a banana and kicks a ripper. John O, he would have had some pain relief in that shoulder, and it seems to be working okay for him. Yeah, he looks to see, he seems to be moving quite freely. His voice out here is pretty big for the Ds as well at the same time. The other thing is interesting about Nathan Bassett, too, guys, is that at quarter time, he was actually still taking his line. Let's have a look at the two 11s going at it. Gorn with the win. Drew swung around on the tackle, and Bergman, right spot, right time. They got a couple on the go here for Port. He's directly in front, as you can see. Kick of only about 25, 30 metres. No problems at all for Bergman. So Port by nine points. Shields his eyes from the sun. And does head there. Great spot. Bergman. Magnificent mark. Inside. Tui, not the required. Tried the tackle, feeds it back to Myers. So again, 
Kanemidi's right here. Bergman doesn't let him get onto the boot. Sends it long. Cleary and close. Cleary doesn't often go for the pickoff mark. Went with the spoil of Bergman. Umpire didn't pay him the mark. Hands to Bergman. Back inside 50. Will Georgiades go up? He oh, oh, takes a monster. <laughs> Shot from Georgiades. Puts his body on the line as he always does. Bergman tries to extract it. You mentioned about the wall going up, Rue, and that's that's what builds pressure on on teams and on defences. And Collingwood have done this uh, as well as any side in the comp. Alia will try and cut across. Well, he got dealt with by Cumberland, and he's hurt. Alia. Bergman fought through well, but Alia, as you can yeah. see, is in a world of pain. Had to go down low to try and pick that one up. Get ready again against McKenzie. Both tie ball. He's got another. <laughs> Sonsi, Cotchen, couldn't see a Richmond jumper, he was, oh, they go together, Boulder, oh well, look at the hands from Butters, Rose is back out there as well, and a little pop kick is a good one, and Bergman slips in to take them up. Eight points between them then, Curvis the tap, Butters versus Bolton, Bolton screaming for a free, doesn't get it, Dersma towed it forward, Rosie straight into the thick of the action, found Wines and then Butters who bounces up and kicks it long, can Dixon get access? Oh. He really crunched Foster, wow. Farrell comes away, gives it to Bergman, it's high, is it straight? It is! There's an arrow! Still eight minutes to go in this third term which has belonged to Richmond and Curvis has had 19 disposals. Gets so much of the footy for a Ruckman. And Dixon against three Tigers. Daniel Rioli the spoil. McIntosh left them vulnerable. Bergman couldn't quite. Castagna, Pe Pepper did well not to get in his back. Rioli flipped it up. Power Pepper. Sheer willpower. What a season he's had. He's given them reason to spoil. He may yeah. not have kicked a goal here. Zerk Thatcher. So Bergon gets on the end of the Bergman handoff. A mark from this. Handoff, Farrell, McEntee. He's got Marsh on the move. Got him. Mark. Back three metres. It's a good kick. Bergman. Another who's had to fight his way back into this lineup, Miles Bergman. Just game 32. Looking for goal 13. And this margin's getting nasty. 73 points. Missed the handball there, Chase Jones. Phil Thorpe, oh, big contact came the other way. He's a little sore after that, Riley Phil Thorpe. And this should be an intercept possession coming up for Port as Bergman drops back. Yo. A little soccer was clever to find a teammate. Now there's a chance for Bergman, kept his feet. Tackle came from Duda. Pal Pepper throwing his weight into the action and Murray seeks the boundary line and finds. It goes again, terrific back-to-back -back efforts by... Young McEntee. And as a result, Wines can find Bergman almost directly in front. The penalty pressure. Play on. Dersman. Over the top came Smith. Bergman didn't have a whole lot to go to.